Now before we go on to the next section of the test, I want to talk about the order of operations with a slide rule. So let's say we have 30 times 40 divided by 20. How do we approach this on the slide rule? Do we multiply 30 by 40 and then divide by 20? Do we divide 1 by 20, then multiply it by 30 and then by 40? Or do we start at 30, divide by 20, and then multiply by 40? Let's look at the number of movements that we have to make each way. Uh, we want to pay attention to the movements of the slide and of the cursor. Now the first time what we're going to do is we're going to multiply 30 by 40 and then we'll divide by 20. So we'll come out here to 30. Okay, so we have to move to the index. That's one move of the slide. We move the cursor down to 40. And then we put the 20 over our answer. And we read out here to 60. 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's divide 1 by 20. So there's 1, 2, and 3, 4. Okay. Now, let's start with, tw let's start with 30. We will divide by 20. So that's one movement and then multiply by four, two movements. Notice that I didn't have to come all the way back here to the index and then go all the way out to four again. The way you do complex operations like this with a slide rule is you put your cursor on the first number and then you immediately go to your next operation. So if you're gonna multiply, you put the index over your number. If you're gonna divide, just go straight to the division and put the number you're dividing into your initial number right over it. Then you have an intermediate result out here. You don't need to go here. You can just go straight to your next operation, which is multiplying that number by four. And we're already done. Two moves. So when you're dealing with three numbers, two of which are multiplied and one is divided, you start here, you move here, then you go here. You cross back and forth. You don't come straight across and then down. So in our next episode, we're going to do problems 6 through 10 from the Texas Slide Rule Championship, and we'll see this in action. This is Bob the Science Guy. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you follow me for more Slide Rule action.